Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Grant Theft Logan and welcome back to another 7 Days to Die tutorial video here on my channel. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. If you remember last time, we built a mini bike garage to store our mini bike as well as an escape hatch out of our base if something should happen during a horde night. And in this episode, I am going to build something and teach you how to build something that will help you defend your base on Horde Night, and that is a sniper's nest. Now, there are a lot of applications for sniper's nest, and there's a lot of ways to build them. I know that we could just use the top of our base right here, but I do not feel like that is good enough because you might not have a giant fortress uh, of steel walls and iron bars to protect your base, and you might need something a little easier to build, and that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to be building a very simple design with a ladder system, and this can be made out of any material. I'm going to start building mine with steel blocks, although you, you could use wood blocks, iron reinforced, and you could just go from there. So without wasting any further time, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need for the sniper's nest is a base. Now, because we are going with a ladder design inside, it's going to be the cheapest on resources, and it's also going to be the easiest to make. I'm going with this horseshoe design that has seven blocks. I am, of course, using steel wall because it is the strongest block in the game, and it also matches our base here. This will allow us to just walk right in and climb up a ladder while also providing a lot of strength for the amount of weight that we are going to be putting on to this base as a whole. So what you're going to want to do in this design is you're going to just want to do what you see on screen and just have this uh, seven block horseshoe design. You're going to want to get a door and you're going to want to put it in front. We have a level three vault door, but of course any single door will do. Uh, I would suggest if you can at least a reinforced metal door. It's pretty simple to make on resources and I feel like it will provide you the best defense over just a wooden door that's upgraded. The next thing you're going to want to do is decide exactly how large you want to make your sniper's nest. Now, you're just going to go around. Obviously, right now, I am in creative mode, so I am able to fly, but this is easy to make in any type of situation. You would just have to place a block down, jump on top of it, and then go around that way. So don't feel like you have to be in creative mode to do this. So as you can see, we are getting pretty high now. Um, we don't have a certain height in mind. I feel like I want to go up at least a couple more uh, levels of blocks because we really want to have height to our advantage because the further away that we are from a zombie horde, especially when they can climb on each other's backs and climb up on each other's bodies, the better. Now, so far I'm feeling like this is a pretty good size. Uh, the next thing that we'd have to do in this situation, and you could do this as you are going along if you are not in creative mode and can't fly, is we need to fill up the front right here or else we have a very obvious way into the base. Now with that being said, let's get on to the next part. Now one major key about the sniper's nest is going to actually be the iron bars. Iron bars are a very durable, very cheap and easy to make resource. And what they're going to allow us to do is actually stand and shoot through them. Now you can easily go out to uh, two block layers and we're gonna put this in every single direction. So that means that when the horde is here, we can stand on this and we can actually shoot right through it and shoot down. Now you can use any um, any type of weapon through this, any type of gun or even a bow and arrow, a crossbow, uh, whatever you have available to you at that time is going to be perfect for this. So I am going to speed this up and show you what it looks like when it's done. And there you have it, the iron bars are now done. And like I said, what this allows us to do is walk all along the edges. As you can see, we have a 360 degree view of the premises. Now you could build this, um, as you can see, we're across from our base right now and this is viable. We could always dig a tunnel from this tower right here underneath into our, um, into our opening right here. But if you don't wanna do that, you could build this inside of your base or you could build one of these use it for your first night and then build a base uh, completely around it, which would also be a very, very good option for safety. Now, of course, with this, we need a way in and out of the sniper's nest. We, you know, you're not gonna have flying in normal applications. And that's where ladders come into play. 
what you're going to want to do is get your ladder going. It takes a little bit of effort. You can also use wooden ladders. I have, as you can tell, metal ladders here. And then you simply just climb up the ladder, go into your base or your tower or whatever you're using it for, and then you have the perfect sniper's nest. Now there is more that we could potentially do to this. You could add traps around the entire premises. That would actually help you quite a bit. If you added a trench with a shovel or an auger or whatever you have, you could put spikes, you could put barbed wire, you could put really any trap item in there. You could even put campfires, light them before a horde, and the zombies will walk into them and actually be lit on fire, which is a great way to help take down their health and to highly damage them, and I would highly recommend that. Of course, the traps, a trench with spikes will also allow you to dismember them. Uh, they will eventually lose one or both legs. They become very easy, slow crawling targets. And especially if you are standing right up here, right on top of them, you can shoot at them with ease. We could also add a roof to this. Uh, as you can tell where I am right now, it is currently raining. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the umbrella symbol at 61%. We could add a roof over this. It would be very easy. You would just add a post uh, to each end of this, go up a little, build uh, some blocks in the center. You have a roof that you can stand under, you can keep dry. You could also put a campfire under there and really save yourself from the rain and the hypothermia that is in turn going to come from that. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope that this Sniper's Nest tutorial really helped you out. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post daily video gaming content, including a lot of Seven Days to Die. I have a second season in the description box below that is gaining steam and it's very popular and I think that you'd probably like it. Smash that like button if this video helped you and until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.